Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. My annual tradition since the end of 2017 has been to take a video in late December to look back on the year behind me in terms of my struggles and successes on YouTube and my related endeavors. I'm happy to say that 2019 was my biggest year in YouTube and Patreon, both. I have almost achieved 100,000 subscribers as I record this on the 18th. Um, I'm at something like 99,200. So it is possible but that by the end of the year I'll reach 100,000. On Patreon, I hit 1,000 supporters. That's gone down a little bit since its peak. The peak was something like 1,015, uh, but that's only natural as I've adjusted uh, the way uh, that my Patreon is set up, started uh, phasing out and eventually discontinuing translation requests. I'm sure that cost me a few people, but um, it opened up so much more time not spent on extremely time intensive and frustrating work that really benefited one person and not the whole community of supporters. In terms of career, 2019 has been a challenging year. I have been working in the Department of German and Slavic. The Department of German and Slavic includes programs, German, Slavic, and Nordic. The only tenured or tenure track positions are in German and Slavic with no provision for the creation of Nordic positions and um, no motivation for anyone to create them because of course, uh, the only people who have them are German and Slavic. But since Nordic brings in so many students. After all, I'm required to teach one class of 160 or more every semester, uh, and those classes always fill with insane wait lists. And um, my colleagues like Matthias Nordvig are teaching classes just that big most of the time. We are a huge bringer of money to the department, and that money is going to German and Slavic rather than to us. There's no particular reward for our efforts. Um, other than teaching these huge auditorium classes, which by their nature fill up with people who don't want to be there. So as that's become more and more unsatisfying, a more and more unhappy position for me, I've taken a risk and announced that I'll be leaving the German and Slavic department at the end of the 2019-20 school year. Uh, this is of course a nervous moment for me because um, you know, while I've been working with a career counselor, trying to establish whether there's a feasible way for me to make it on my own with my educational entrepreneurial business, right? As, uh, and that's not just YouTube and videos. YouTube could disappear in a moment, the internet could disappear in a moment, videos could disappear in a moment. Uh, who knows the future? But I have, I have stopped thinking of myself as a failed tenure track professor, which I'm never gonna be. My PhD is too old. Uh, I will still be affiliated with the University of Colorado with its wonderful center of the American West, the center of the American West is a loose coalition of faculty that I've been a part of for some time now. Um, all the faculty have some intersection somewhere with the study of the American West or simply love the American West as I do. And uh, it's run by Patty Limerick, who is a uh, professor of history who takes a great interest in actually reaching out to the public and being of use to the public. And uh, as that's a huge priority for me, I've identified more and more with the center and so I will remain affiliated with the center uh, in an unpaid position uh, as some kind of associate at the university. So I'll still be at the University of Colorado, just not teaching Norse pathology. I'll find somebody else. And Matthias Nordvig's contract is up at the end of uh, May 2020. So this is an exciting new chapter, a nervous new chapter. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if the videos, if the books, if the uh, consulting, if all these things will, will pan out for me. And if they don't, I suppose, I only live once, so I might as well just stop living the same frustrating year over and over and maybe go back to school, get an engineering degree, something like that. We'll see, I just don't know. And I thank you very much for your patience and support as I've continued to try to bring my academic expertise to the public without ivory tower elitism and without a guru's agendas while still being very upfront and honest about who I am, which I think is both not who any guru wants to be or wants to paint me as, 
and also not who universities want uh, anymore. In other signs of the time and, and news from this year, uh, The Wanderers Haul Them All was published in November. This is my favorite of my books. It contains not only the Old Norse text directly based on the text in the Codex Regius, but also my English translation on the facing page. It was wonderful to have the opportunity to uh, redo that translation in minor ways to agree with my own new conclusions over nine years of working with that text since I first translated it. Uh, that led to some publicity, as did the release of Frozen 2, even though nothing I did actually made it into the second movie. Uh, I did a lot of interviews. My favorite so far was actually my interview with the uh, Unorthodox podcast. Um, you can find that online pretty easily. Uh, what a fun, uh, more personal interview than a lot of others that I've done. Just, just had a great time. Uh, I don't know that I've discovered a lot of new books uh, this year. Certainly returned to a lot of old favorites. A lot of Cormac McCarthy, a lot of Robinson Jeffers. Uh, standbys for me, Edward Abbey. Um, podcasts, I have been really impressed by some of the interviews that I've listened to on a podcast whose name suggests that it's something very different from what it is, at least what it is now, uh, The Art of Charm. These guys have great interviews with business leaders and thought leaders. Uh, I mean, some of the most incredible people sit down and give, you know, an hour and 15 minutes of their time just really sharing the secrets of their success, and that's been been so incredible to hear and so encouraging. Uh, so thanks to the guys who run that podcast, I've, I've really profited uh, just in terms of encouragement from that. And I've continued to enjoy, um, of course, the last podcast on the left, sort of comedy horror. Uh, I enjoy, of course, getting out here and doing all of the things that I do in the woods, which is mostly just kind of having a chance to be by myself and with the birds and enjoy my beautiful Rocky Mountain homeland. I am happy to say that, of course, leaving my position at the University of Colorado, although not the university per se, um, I have no reason to leave Colorado. I have no reason to leave the Rockies. Um, I'm still affiliated with the center of the American West. And what's more, if I had waited for them to get rid of me, which would have eventually happened, these jobs are, you know, something always happens or they replace you with internet teaching or whatever. Um, you know, at that point, if I had not been prepared, I probably would have had to jump and move to wherever would have hired me as an adjunct for the next year. This way, I am making steps to plant myself firmly here. There's risks, there's trepidations. I know sometimes it's gonna feel like I'm being an idiot, but ultimately I hope that I can continue to be the educator that I have been for so many people, that I've been so rewarded to be for so many people uh, for as long as I can, and um, that you'll continue to tune in for these videos and, check out my books and hopefully I can even get some kind of a speaker tour or something going and, and, and hit more bookstores like I did the Boulder bookstore in earlier December. What a great experience that was. So I hope that whatever holiday you celebrate, as the days start to get a little bit longer again, that uh, you'll reflect back on your 2019 and find that it was a rewarding and profitable year for you. And uh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, please know that I am genuinely wishing you all the best from beautiful Colorado.